streaming. Okay. Let's see, I hit the streamy button. Be afraid. An excellent connection. And um, here, oh, we have a picture. There it is. All right. We have a picture in a live chat. How are we doing, friends? How are we doing this morning? Guess what? There is snow outside the hot hole. Bethany Primrose is here. Hi, friend. Love you. Hope you're staying warm and cozy this morning. Jacoby Draws says hi. Hi, Jacoby Draws. How come you didn't say hi to Bethany? Because Jacoby Draws sounds cool. Oh, uh, and Bethany doesn't sound cool. Bethany's just like Bethany. <laughs> Bethany. Okay. Gail. Good morning from California. Marvelous Music Monday. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Oh, that's Martin a great quote. Martin Luther King. It is a good quote. Thanks for stealing my thunder, Gail. <laughs> Were you going to do a quote I was going to post that today <laughs> for Martin Luther King. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And all of our friends have joined. We have Kermito and Potterhead and Angsty and Best Inbox. And All right, um, we are recording. Kitty Lover. <laughs> Bethany says, I am buried deep in bed with cats. I would be too. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be because I'd sneeze, but it's okay. If I had Arwen, I would be with my puppy. Nehru is here. LOL, sorry. Oh, don't you dare. Gail, you're funny. The more words we can get out into the world that are positive, the better off we are. Mateo says, hi, Scott and Donna. This is Mateo all the way from Los Angeles. Hey, Mateo. How are you? I wish it snowed here, too. Uh, <laughs> it's cold. It's, um, Scott doesn't really like the cold anymore. When we first moved here, we enjoyed it a lot. It was a novelty. It was a oh, novelty. Look, snow, let's go out and play in the snow. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and until like, we realized uh, we didn't snow. we didn't own the clothes for it, and we had to go buy all the clothes for it. And, then and it's you, cold. Yeah, and then you buy the clothes, and then you realize, oh my god, it's still cold. <laughs> uh, Owen Carter draws says hi. Hi. Cupid says hello. I just bought your Medusa poster, and I love it. Oh, Ooh, fantastic! Thank you. Hello from Wales. Hi, Sarah. How is Wales this day? This fine, snowy day. Do you use rollerball pens and what brand? Um, I don't know. Do I? No. No. <laughs> he doesn't. Um, <coughs> on any given day, you will find Mr. Sava with, let me find where it went. Here it is. The here, catch this and throw this into the thing. I'm wearing my up close glasses. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have walked it over to you. Off. Okay, Scott doesn't like roller balls. This is the Pentel RSVP ballpoint pen. So when you hear Scott say, I like to draw in my sometimes uh, I like sketch, to doodle in, uh... right? He'll doodle or he'll do a sketch, use his sketch wallet. Right? That is the preferred pen of choice. It does not fit in the sketch wallet, but is the preferred pen of choice. So if he can coerce Donna into putting that in her purse for him, he will. Um, okay, so the tea of the day. Surprise, I have a new blend. Not the first cup, of course, because you y'all know I have to have my Herod's tea for my first blend, especially with the snow. I will be posting a snow pick this morning on my channel. Um, I have... From the Tea Foundry, I am trying their Irish breakfast blend. That is not right now. That will be the second cup. Um, so my first cup, and give, give me a minute or 30 and we'll get there. Um, okay, so they would like to please see the photo reference, my dear. Okay, give me one second. Lots of people are excited about Weird Al. Uh, me too. I'm glad he got a win. Yeah. Zoya says good morning to all and to all a good night. Oh, good luck on your project. So this is the photo <laughs> reference I used. <clears throat> it was from uh, I Lost on Jeopardy. 
Um, I was look, considering the Amish Paradise one, but it's not as iconic as his frizzy hair. Mm. His frizzy hair is ridiculously iconic. Mm. Yeah, and this one just was so washed out, there was to be nothing really fun to paint. So that's why yeah. I picked this one, because it at least has some lights and shadows. So wow. that's what I'm looking for, is there's, there's very little lights and darks other than underneath the chin from the flash. But a flash yeah. shot is really not a fun picture to use for um, photo reference. Indeed. Haven says um, that they're staying home. Pencil sharpener, you should stay home. Um, well, their boss told him to stay home. Uncle Kev says, my precious Alfred. I have over 150 pieces of Weird Al merch, and I got to meet him in 2022. He's so sweet. Oh, that's wonderful. I love, I love hearing to hear, yeah. that people are sweet. Yeah. Um, let's see. Rinsky has not been motivated to get up every morning and go to school. Do we have any tips? <laughs> you are artist. just asking the wrong yeah, you're guy. Asking the Scott wrong. does I, not. I, I hated school. Yeah. Find something, some little tiny thing throughout the day that you can do for yourself. Um, if it's sketching at lunchtime, if it's reading a book, if it's bringing something that's your favorite thing for lunch. Give yourself something to look forward to during the school day. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I know you don't want to get out of bed and go. I get that. Everybody has those days. But it's the same when you're an adult. No one's going to motivate you to get up and go to work. No one's going to motivate you to clean your house or do your laundry. You, you know what helped the kids? Our, our, our boys was, um, we told them just get involved in something mm. that you really yeah. like, whether it be drama or mm -hmm. an art class or mm -hmm. a, a sport club, or a something. Sport. Yeah. That way at least you have a reason because just well, going to school, there's no reason to go to school. Like-minded friends. Yeah. Yeah. Like-minded friends is important too. Um, let's see. Lots of people are painting and squealing because it's Weird Al. Uh, Ritu Parna has a weird question for Scott, but how can you bear Donna's cute but loud squeals? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to remember your name. Yeah. <laughs> um, she, Donna is genuinely Donna. Um, I never have to worry that she's, uh, not, you know, that she's not being herself. She's, she's, she is who she is. Unapologetically, uh, I might Yeah. Add. <laughs> it's annoying a lot as you get older. Um, and I think a lot of that I'm realizing is probably due to autism because yeah. for me, um, I'm realizing I see patterns in everything. So Donna can watch the same show over and over and over again. Donna can say the same thing over and over and over mm -hmm. again. And, um, and so, yeah, it, it, it's, it, she's adorable and I love her and it's okay. You can say I'm annoying. No, no, I already did. So, um, but, uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's genuinely her. And I love that about her. <laughs> there is one thing that, um, <clears throat> I think makes it a little easier for you. I am always excited to see people like family or friends or whatever. And Scott just is not. So I've always been the one that's like, hi, how are you? Oh my God, it's so good to see you again. And then they sort of all feel the love um, yeah, without having to, uh, you know, have Scott be the one that goes, oh, oh look, yay, nice to see you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing my best to tame it down a little for you. Yeah. So that it doesn't bother you as much. Yeah, no, and yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, it's yeah. just, like I said, basically what I was trying to say was anything annoying is because of me. You know, because no, of... No, I don't think it's necessarily because of you. I think there's there are some things that I... That I um, want to change about myself. You know, there, there are some things, but... Um, Oh yeah, Bethany, Bethany, yes. Donna will always tell you to draw a red panda, whoever's asking. Yes, draw the red panda. And I got d totally distracted there, sorry. Um, yeah, m or maybe it is you, I don't know. Maybe I just am trying to be a better partner and that's why. Stop that. 
Okay. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're weird. Um, oh, Steph Nerd's here. Let's see. Brain Dump is a huge weird owl fan and is squealing high from Massachusetts oh, and hello. sent you a nice tip. Oh, thank you. Nicholas says good morning. He's one of our subscribers. I think I put this in the wrong spot. And Tommy is here. Says good morning. I hope everyone is keeping warm. I love Weird Al. My husband plays the accordion as well. Wow. There are so few people who do that. That is actually really cool. Our friend Bear plays the hurdy gurdy. He does indeed. Bear's one of a kind though. Uh, we are drawing um, Weird Al, and it is on Arches Hot Press, hot press Paper. paper. Mm -hmm. So I think this part was supposed to be the highlight, and said I shaded it in, so I'm going to... Oh, Leon is, has a goal of reading 52 books this year and is keeping a reading journal as well as my normal random thoughts journal. Oh, that's Good great. for you. Bethany says, Scott is also glad he doesn't have to draw Yanni. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Okay, I guess this is now the spot where the highlight is. I'm just, I keep looking at the um, photo reference and then back. Would you and... ever try knitting or crochet? People always ask that question. Okay. I don't see you as a knitting and a crochet guy. No, but. I don't think you'd enjoy the texture of the yarn either. I think that would be a weird thing for you. Yeah, I don't really like cotton. No, so it doesn't do the like the scratchy of the fabrics and stuff, you know, like if there's a cotton or a polyester, or something that's kind of scratchy. Oh, canned water productions. Our son um, inherited a pocket watch from his grandpa and I am going to try to get that fixed for him. Perhaps you can get yours fixed. Oh, Ocean says my mom insisted we get frames for the posters I got. They look great with a simple black frame. Aww. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Do you guys want to see how the poster is coming along? Um, the, the, the next one? Owen Carter Draws says, love your vids and sent you a tip. Oh, thank you. All right. Tell me what you can see. Can you see it? We can see, no. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. We can't see the bottom of the dragon and we need the dragon's nose. So go towards the pull that way. See, I'm missing the nose. Sorry, I'm, the nose is cut off completely. There we go. We moved the camera a little bit. How's that? Now we can see the whole thing. Very nicely done, Sava. And I am currently working on the Let's centaur. Fill the water. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the cape is coming out lovely. Look at that. So, can you guys see the tail here? See how yeah. it was getting painted over so many times that it was fading? <coughs> so I went and I got Remember, I picked this up. I don't know if I where I got it from, but super opaque black. Oh boy! And so I'm doing her tail in super opaque black, and I'm going to come back in with the highlights later. So I did the same thing with her hair too. Wow. Um, and and I think it, it will really make her stand out a little bit. I might even do her outline in super opaque black too, mm. just to make her pop. But I think it's coming along. It's just last night I was really upset. Right? <laughs> just nothing is going easily. Mm-mm. Um, Owen Carter draws, so you have a very nice tip and says, hi, I'm deeply inspired from your art and I have 1700 subs and I love your art. Oh, thank you. Congrats on the 1700 subs. Mm. Yeah, I, I know that, um, fiber arts can be fun and I know there's a lot of people who really like them, but it just depends on the person. So it's yeah. really cool that there's so many different kinds of art out there that you can have different mediums and everybody can do something. Um, what pencil do you use? I'm trying I'm using, my sketches to be more organized. I'm using a dark purple um, Prismacolor pencil. I like how the mouth and eye look. They are really glowing. Saroja says that's so oh. beautiful. Um, oh, they're, they're talking about the, the dragon painting. Yes, okay. the dragon painting. Her cloak has Fellowship of the Ring vibes. So yeah, it kind of does. Um, Rachel says it looks great, Scott. Thank you, Aww, Rachel. That's so cute. Um, Scott's favorite animal is a cheetah. Okay, let's go backwards. Um, 
Do you have any preference to Indian art and techniques? Um, no, I don't. But I did see um, an artist in a style I really liked. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but give me one second. And I want to kind of look into it a little bit more. Who's your favorite Batman? Um, <coughs> was it uh, Batman the animated series? Is it Keith Conroy? Mm-hmm. I think that or was Kevin him. Conroy. Kevin Conroy. There you go. Yeah. He passed away. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, we do not have the same sense of humor at all. Although I will tell you this, he's been making me laugh for 35 years, so do the math on that one. How are we today? We're doing good. Thank um, you. All right. Um, let see. me see if I can find that artist because I had saved it. Um, oh, Autumn's been in the hospital with their dad all night and hasn't slept yet. He had a bad fall. I'm so sorry. I hope dad's okay. It just seems to be okay just besides a bad concussion. Just watch that, though. That's kind of scary stuff. Oh, that's exciting that you picked up crochet and you can't stop. That's exciting. That means you really love it. Good yeah. for you. Joy has arrived. Hi, Joy. I am looking for... Um, I had saved... Someone had mentioned an artist, an Indian artist, and I saved it. And now I'm trying. These are all of the stuff that I have. This is all my photo reference. <laughs> this Princess, is it. Princess Fiona and their dad like a Weird Al a lot. J uh, Jiminy Roy. Hmm, that's pretty. Copini. Yeah. So I want to look into that. All right. Um, Here we go. Oreo, that might be a Bethany question. Does anyone know oh, a better way me. to make acrylic paint stick to fabric? I don't know. What is a hurdy-gurdy? Hurdy-gurdy is, it's kind of like an accordion, but you have to wind it up, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. All right, really quick. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can do this. What? Oh, snow outside the hobbit hole. Can you guys see? We can. Snow outside the hobbit hole. It's so pretty. Yeah. Um, let's see. A cassowary is a kind of bird. They are huge and they look terrifying. Um, we did a video. With we them. did. We, we went to the National sit. Zoo. Sai. Sai. Mm-hmm. He's a cassowary. Um, they run free in Australia. Mm. Um, related to the dinosaur. Yeah. Very exciting. I have a cassowary feather sitting right next to my painting of Arwen. Upstairs in my office. Let's get some blue. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, blue. Dooby dooby doo 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 doo. You know what? Repet repetition is very good for anxiety. <laughs> Not I'm just my saying. anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> no, Who's but... Who's uh, are we talking about here? Because it's no, definitely not mine. It's really funny. <laughs> we were in our kitchen yesterday, and Scott was tapping his fingers or fingernails or something on the counter. And I said, doesn't that bother you? Because he's very sensitive to noises. And so we're still, we're still working out this whole, you know, like, what does autism look like? Um to him, you know, and, and how to kind of, you know, deal with it. Blow dryer. Oh no, hold on. Go ahead. Um, and so he's tapping his nails on the, the counter and it just was irritating me. And I was like, doesn't that bother you? And he's like, no, it's kind of like stimming, you know? And, um, it's like s soothing. And I think at some point, um, I think everybody has a little bit of that, like something that they do that's self self soothing, you know, like some people twirl their hair or some people, you know, hold on to a blanket or what, you know, whatever it is. Um, what's your biggest tip for broke artists? <laughs> uh, draw everything every day. In other words, just get us the cheapest sketchbook you can get and a pen or a pencil and just draw the world around you because when you have the money 
to buy like really nice art supplies, you will have so much drawing uh, experience. You'll be able to draw anything. I have never drawn a Weird Al before. Mm -hmm. And yet, here I am able to draw Weird Al because I've been training myself to look at a photograph and draw what I see. Or, you know, draw what I see if it's... Yeah, little birds, yeah. There's little birds out in the wild. Of the hobby hole. They're looking for something to eat. It's so funny. So, draw. Just, just... Pencils and uh, sketchbooks are cheap. Or marry somebody rich. I'm just saying. I mean, clearly that was not me. But, uh... There you yeah. go. Um... Mark, I have not seen a letter from you, but mail... NASA? Mm-hmm. Yes, we did. Oh, we did? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I showed it to... You uh, didn't show it to me. I showed it to Logan. Um, uh, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, I, I got to show it to Donna. Sorry, it, it, I got a pile. Donna gave me a pile of yeah. uh, letters. And yeah, we I had a pile it. in the, the P.O. The, box. The paintings were lovely and the, and the notes were wonderful, but yes, I will, I will show it to Donna and she will... Okay, well, Respond. apparently we're going to love it. So, there you go. What is your favorite snack while illustrating? Atomic fireballs. Mm, we have never been to... Oh, Nixie is here. We have hey, never Nixie. been to Indonesia. You guys, the list of Blow places dryer. we've been as opposed to where we want to go is um, sad. We, we have a very small list of places we've been and a very long list of places we'd love to be. Hey, Nefarious Crow, welcome back. Oh, one up girl, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, that's rough. What's wrong? They uh they lost a friend oh. that they've known for twenty four years. A very long time. Um, let's see. Do you listen to Weird Al and do you have a favorite song? Um, God, I had a few of his albums. I, I, I like the Fat album. Oh my God, that one's um, great. And Smells Like Nirvana was a good album too. Um, gosh. Oh, Joyce says there is a fabric medium that you can add to acrylic paints to make it stick to fabric better. Look how great you guys are. Everybody knows something. Do you like Queen? Is oh, there yeah. snow outside? Um, yes. <laughs> well, um, we we actually got to work with Queen on our movie, and they uh, they didn't give it to us. They let us buy it. Um, the rights <laughs> to, it to uh, That's funny. Don't stop me now was mm -hmm. in our movie, um, yeah. and so yeah, we 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 love Queen. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Do you have a piece of art that you would sell no matter how much money you were offered? A product that I wouldn't sell? Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you have a piece of art that you would never sell no matter how much money you were offered? Sorry. Yes. Um, Bear with me, it's Monday. No. Oh, I, dude, I, I know which one I wouldn't let you sell. I, it doesn't matter. I mean, no matter how much money we were offered, there's a price for everything, and I can always paint it again. No, you can't. <laughs> and I'll probably paint it better. Blow dryer. No, I've watched you. You can't paint it again. And you won't paint it again. He won't. Mm -mm. Uh, Lydia says, how, um, oh, where'd it go? I can't wait to see what the dragon painting will look like as a poster. Hubby says we can get this one. Uh. Yeah, great. I, I'm I'm looking forward to it too. I I definitely need to add the uh, some trees in the foreground, um, and, I, and I like the idea of adding the snow, uh, little snowflakes and whatnot. So I'll do that. But I'm it I'm 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 nervous because everything is going wrong with it. In 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 that it's just it's not working. The way it was supposed to, and I think a lot of that is the paper. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, we it's, we were talking about it last night. We think the paper, that paper, for as much as it is, should really just bend to his will. 
but it is not. It just doesn't have the, the right <laughs> texture. <laughs> and um, No, it's not soaking up the watercolor yeah, like you thought and, and the way would. the watercolor just goes on it isn't yeah. working well, so I keep having to redo everything with gouache and colored mm-hmm. pencils, which is fine. It's just making it so much more work. Yeah. Nothing you do is ever easy, honey. No, it's not. Blow dryer. Oh, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Um, hi, Norway. How are you? Hmm. Um, Izag Paints. Are you using professional watercolors? Um, this person says, how do you get your watercolors to stay consistently flat when I try the values are constantly changing? Um, it's probably the paper. The paper is the biggest factor. It, it's not the watercolors, it's the paper. It's the paper and how much water you're putting. And if you're consistent with how much water you're mixing with it, mm-hmm. then it's the paper. Um, Scott Blow dries his watercolor and his gouache. And the reason is because you guys would just be sitting here watching paint dry, like Bethany. And Lord knows you can't be doing that while you're on here for 90 minutes. So you got to... Uh, you gotta do something else. Blow dry. So, um, MM says, Hey Scott, I used to think of your advice of drawing every day wasn't very good, but after I try drawing every day, I can see progress and I'm getting better. <laughs> Thank you. Why would you think it's not good? <laughs> well, because you sound, I don't know, like, I don't know, like you're a boring old man or something, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna go get a handful of bird seed for the birds that are right outside the door because I feel bad for them. I'll be right back. All right. And what I would like you to answer is, let's see. Um, uh, I'm thinking of drawing Stan Lee today. Can you give me some tips? Oh, I drew Stan Lee. Um, just have fun and Excelsior. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, teal. There we go. And there's a little bit here. And. Wait, I need a blow dryer. I need a blow dryer, but my right hand is holding birdseed. How am I supposed to mute blow dryer? Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Oh, I did it. Okay. birds and they were foraging outside of the door and I thought poor things it's cold out there oh I have to unblow dry you should I unblow dry him guys what do you think uh weird owl's eye color I think it's brown (laughs) Jay Robert Dean says good morning shouldn't you be doing this in polka dots (laughs) (laughs) you're funny Um, thanks Mr. Clock Yankovic um, Sydney would like to know the name of the purple Prismacolor pencil that you use all the time. It's just dark purple. Frago says, Mary Rich, that's what my parents always say, lol. Unfortunately for me, not one career path I'm looking at will get me much money. That's okay, I love them all. Yeah. I was joking. Brown eyes, okay. Sort of joking. Hey, Brandy B is here and says good morning. Good morning, Brandy B. Um, I don't know why I have never asked this before, but is your place actually called the Hobbit Hole, or is that just what everyone you know calls it now? Oh, um, no, I mean, it's not called the Hobbit Hole, it's just, uh, my studio is, uh, made to look like a Hobbit Hole. Uh, there's a video about it, um, but, and you could see it in the background, but, yeah, thanks. Um, but yeah, so, it, it used to be our basement. 
um, which was my art studio, and then um, we had to redo it because there was mold. And then my friend, who's a really talented uh, contractor, mm -hmm. designed uh, uh, designed it to look like a hobbit hole. Mm -hmm. So it's painted and, and designed. It's just really, really fun place to make art. What is your favorite Michael Jackson album or song? I... Human Nature is probably one of my favorite songs, um, but I, th I, I I actually liked some of the later albums, like um, God, the one that looked like a circus kind of theme. I forgot that, but it had some good songs on it. But I'm the worst person to ask this to. Worst person. Um, let's see. <laughs> Oreo says, the good thing about this painting is that since the hair covers so much of it, Scott won't change the background 20 times. Yeah, it's true. Oh, ye of little faith, he will find a way to change the background. Um, talk about the differences in the colors that you use with gouache and the differences of the colors that you use with watercolor. Do you need more tea? No. The difference in the colors um because you seem to use more gouache colors than watercolor and you don't have a set gouache palette like you do with watercolor yeah well i, I think with with gouache i mix colors also um because i'm not with watercolors i just kind of let it sit and i'm not going for photorealism when you're going for stuff that's a little bit more realistic mm -hmm. you tend to need to blend the colors a little more mm-hmm and so I, I have more like, oh, I could really use a shade that's in between this one and that one. You know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Okay. So let's talk about the second cup of tea that I just poured. Um, the Tea Foundry, Lula from the Tea Foundry. Um, I acquired the Irish breakfast tea blend that she has. And this will be my first taste of it. I like it. I like it. Strong, dark, moody. I like it. This one could probably use a pinch of sugar, surprisingly. Yeah, I'm feeling like this one needs a little sugar. Interesting. Um, oh wow, Hudson can't stay long because their grandmother's taking him to Blick for their birthday. Hello, hey, that's well, great. see ya, have fun. Holy cow. Love me some art store vibes. Gail says, great mind, Scott. Human nature is my all time MJ favorite. Yeah. M. Cherizard is here on the stream for the first time. Yes, Irish breakfast is so good. Um,. Favorite tea brand? I have so many teas that I drink. Um, uh, blow dryer. Oh, okay. Um, the Knightsbridge blend from Harrods is my go-to. Um, I have a an Assam blend that is um, from this little um, tea shop called the Tuck Box. Um, I like uh, Trader Joe's had this winter wake-up tea with like cinnamon and cardamom, and oh my god, it smelled so good. It tasted good too. Needs sugar for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, Steph. I know Steph's like adding sugar, question mark. I'm telling you, it just needs a little something. It doesn't taste like a honey situation. It tastes just like a pinch of sugar, but not just any sugar. It's going to have to be that raw sugar, you know, with the little with the molasses and the organic raw sugar. Yeah, it's going to have to be that one. Um... Let's see. Twinnings is a good blend, Clappity. Um, do you think that through this series you might be starting to prefer gouache, or would you say that you still prefer watercolor? Adeline would like to know. Um, you know, the more you do something, uh, you're like, you know, I, I, I do enjoy it. And, and as I've been working on the dragon piece, I'm hating the way that the, the, I'm losing all of my inks. 
So I'm, I'm yeah. kind of like, maybe the next big painting I'll do in gouache. I don't know. So it's, it's a possibility. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm tired and I'm cold today. Are you still friends with Dan Pobbenmeyer? Uh, yeah, you know. He's we, been very busy. Yeah, we, we haven't really spoken in maybe a year. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, that, that tends to happen with, I, 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 I tend to say my Hollywood friends, you know. Yeah. Is, you have they're kind of like work friends mm -hmm. and i you know i used to get upset because i would get attached to people mm -hmm. and you'd really only hear from them when there was work mm -hmm. and um and i and, and that would upset me uh but i i think i've kind of come to terms with um there are just certain people who are work friends and mm -hmm. then there are people who are like your friend friends mm -hmm. so um, <laughs> Scott is not a boring man. You're so cute. <laughs> Bethany does not watch paint dry. She moves on to one of her 82 other canvases. I just don't know how you have that many paintings going all at the same time. I'm gonna add some super opaque black. It's, it's really, cr it's like you're spinning plates. It's crazy. And they're all beautiful, which drives me nuts, of course, because, <sighs> because they are beautiful. All right. Um, Rachita says, I've seen you all over YouTube shorts. So glad to be able to catch a live. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Renny, I actually just got the motivation to clean and organize my desk yesterday, so now I can use it. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> Scott just takes things off of his desk and puts them somewhere else. I in put the them into bowl. bins, and I put those bins into the yeah. uh, garage. Uh -huh. Do you guys have any art stuff you have but would never use? Um... There's no. stuff that people send me. Yeah, we've gotten yeah. really good at sharing art supplies with other people because we have gotten so many things that we can never use. So many, and I'm sorry I cut you off. Oh, no, it's fine. We, um, we are very fortunate we have a lot. Um, the Tom Studio pens are not cheap. They're around 100 US dollars. However, I really love their, um, and we're going to take those out at some point um, soon and try them. I may Is try that them what you before got me? Scott does. Yes. Yeah, Donna um, got me some. Yeah. and um, But I got you all of the tips for those. Um, so you could try the brush tips and the little teeny skinny, you know, the little one, the microscopic one that I can never see because it's too small. The, you know, that 005 micron. Um, how would you describe your art style? Realism or comic? Um, I wouldn't. Uh, I've got a little bit of realism, a little bit of comic book, a little bit of uh, like Drew Struzan's movie posters, a little bit of Art Nouveau, um, a little bit of Impressionism. So I, 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 I don't think there is generally uh, a style for everybody, like, um, uh, unless someone intentionally says, I'm going to paint in this style or this, you know, like I'm going to learn impressionism or I'm going to do hyper realism. For the most part, people's styles are, oh, you're so sweet. You were just on the microphone. He was fine. I will deny it. He's fine. Um, it wasn't anything big. It's okay, fine. okay. He's just being cute. It's okay. fine. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, styles are an amalgamation of a bunch of different influences. Mm -hmm. What video? What's the name of the video? Oh, my art. My is art mosaic. is mosaic. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Um. That was our son Logan who came downstairs. Yeah. He's stuck at home in the snow. Shucky darns. You could tell I'm heartbroken about that. Um, Mushroom Girl's almost done with a 32 book series and to be honest, I'm gonna miss it. Ugh, you are gonna have book hangover. 
It is the absolute best thing to have when you miss a book so much. I love that. Yeah, River wants to know what series. I want to know what series too. Tell us what series you're reading. <laughs> Crimson would love to work in the comic book industry when they get older. Do you have any type for young artists trying to, um, I'm assuming tips for young artists trying to get into art of that sort? Um, yeah, for me, it was, uh, you have to do the pages. You got to show them, not sample pages, do whole comic books, make your own comic books. That's what you got to do. Um, because they, they can't really tell much from a couple sample pages. They mm -hmm. got to see that you can commit to something and finish it. And tell a story. Yeah. You have to be able to tell a story. Yeah. You know, and you and you've got to be able to uh, draw everything: cars, telephones, people, places, things. Um. Let's see. What time is it? Nine forty. I don't know. You got lots of time, dude. You got nothing but time. Burn it. Burn the time. Um, let's see. Bozo paints. You are watching his process of painting. Presently. Yeah, such as it is. Oh, stop. Um, have you tried Procreate? Um, no. No, I, I don't. I, I bought a really cheap uh, one of those... Um, Pens for the, your iPad, and uh, and I downloaded it, and it said that uh, my iPad was not new enough. <laughs> to, it's an iPad Pro too, but it's from like seven years ago. So I have to one day invest into a new iPad and a pen. Honey. Yeah. Hold on. Um. Sorry. Um, can you get Etcher Lab brushes individually? I've only seen the set for sale. I don't think so, no. Hmm. I mean, they're okay. I, I wouldn't go out of my way for them or anything. Um, but, you know, if- You used those for a while though. You did I like did, those. they lasted a good long yeah. time. I'm just saying it's just, I'm not really like a big brush fan, so. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> you, <laughs> when you say things, when people enter the room, especially your children, you need to be like, it, it, it's not urgent, it's not a big deal. He was trying to do something nice, but you had this look on your face like, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? You know? No, I wasn't. I, I just. I, I know, and, and I was just said, letting him know that if it was, if he Dad, said it was something secret, he said it right in front of a microphone. I know, That's all I was trying to say. But it's just still, you know, it's just, you know, just. I just fine. didn't, you know. I know he. Want to tell you anything personal in front of the microphone? He knows better. Okay. No, I'm not in no way upset. Uh, he knows better. Tell him I said he's always welcome down here to come and he, it's join fine. us on the line. He was going to do something cute. He saw the neighbor kid outside who happens to be young. And he said, where are our sleds? I'm thinking I want to give him one of the sleds. And he's like, oh. the parent, and he just texted me, the parents are outside. And I texted back, which was the pause that you heard. Some parents are kind of crazy like that and they may not want him to be quote unquote injured or whatever. Please ask them before you give him the sled. Just be sure because you never know. Some yeah. other parents might, you know, that might be a thing or maybe he can't be on a sled or maybe he has a, you know, an issue or something or what, you never know. You know, you don't know. Yeah. Just ask first. And so he's like, okay, I will tell dad I'm sorry. <laughs> that darn kid. Yeah. And Jamie Brown is here, and Ellen is here. Hey, How Ellen, are you Jamie guys? Brown. How's life? I, I'm really noodling this, and I feel yes, bad. Yes, I am on Scott's uh, computer. I am about, I don't know, seven feet away. Um, I have tried to crochet before. I can knit. I have tried to crochet. I do not... Um, 
get it. Um, Nixia, who's on here, is like an amazing. She crochets and she's amazing at it. I don't, I don't get it. I can do two needles, but one needle baffles me. I don't know why, but it does. Um, yeah. How do you get the paint to not fly across the page when you blow dry? Oh, it's just a matter of consistency. You 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 start to see. Um, you can feel uh, the um, how much water you need, and and so you just don't pool it up as much. Because mm -hmm. right now, this is really, really just very little water. My brush is fairly dry. Mm -hmm. Just curious, do you do many exercises for practicing the fundamentals? We see a lot of cool art pieces of yours online, but do you enjoy slash have time to have focused practice on those? Never. He hasn't practiced yeah. in so long. Yeah. To me, every day is practice. So I'm yeah. just at the point. I mean, if you look at all of these little pieces are practice. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so that's my practice is making a finished piece in an hour or 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think it's great practice to do that. But a lot of people, <clears throat> um, they only want to do big pieces. And you learn so much from... Um, doing uh, tiny, smaller pieces like this. Um, let's see. Mr. Epic McAwesome says, Hi, Scott and Donna from England. I've gotten loads of supplies for Christmas. Thank you for inspiring me to be more confident and forgiving of my own art. Oh, that's great. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you. You should just enjoy it. Um, Abby says, quick question here. What do you do when you mess up line art slash inking a drawing and you don't have gouache to cover it up? Um, that sounds like a personal thing there that yeah, Abby's got going on. What, it, what can you fudge with that, honey? I mean, really, if you don't have something opaque to cover it up, you're kind of stuck with it. Um, white out, correction tape? Well, that's something opaque. And white out and correction tape are... So what happens is if you're going to paint... you know, Like, I would not fix... Um, my my inking and then paint on top of it. You don't do that because uh, the um, the watercolor is gonna really not like painting over the gouache and it's gonna lift up the white from the gouache. Okay. So um, you have to do your gouache at the end and try to match the colors that you're, you know, like paint over it like, you know, like okay. I did in the one video. So right, right, right. if you don't have that, you can fix it in Photoshop after you scan it if you want to, or, I mean, there's very little choices. You, you. I got a suggestion. Huh. Um, turn it into a mixed medium and put a piece of washi tape over it. Okay. I mean, that's my suggestion. So if there's a, if I if I ink on his nose right here and I don't like it or I messed up, I'm supposed to take washi tape and go across. Yeah, his nose. we yeah. can get a band aid looking washi tape and stick it right across his nose. Come on, tell me that wouldn't be funny. You this know I'm gonna go find band aid washi tape now, right? And you know this I'm is gonna. why she does journaling and not art. Hey, journaling is art. <laughs> Sorry, painting. Band-aid washi tape. That's on my list of things to buy. Uh, oh, heck yeah. You know I'm, you guys know I'm gonna. And if I can't find band-aid washi tape, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut a band-aid out of... <laughs> but then you, out of a post-it! But then you'd have to make a line art, art painting thing, so you could put it on there. No, I'll just grab one of the paintings you ripped up. One of them's sitting around here somewhere. I'll just put a band-aid right across <laughs> Oh, God. <clears throat> Ugly phase hitting hard. Yeah. What kind of inks do you use, like the more pencil-styled ones that you use? Oh, those are um, zebra brush pens. Oh, Addie Rhodes says, just want to congratulate you guys on such a long and happy marriage. Oh, thank you. Are we happy? 
Mostly. Oh, okay, just checking. Oh. Have you thought about moving alive to a weekend? I'm still in school, so I rarely catch one. That's Jaden. Yeah, we tried for a little bit, but it was just, it's hard when, you know, we're, I, I'm making videos yeah. three, five, sometimes six times a week. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you, we need a break. And, uh, but I, I am going to once a, once a month do a Saturday live with my friend Kim Diaz home. Gosh, that's fun. Yeah. So, so you guys, did you guys set up the schedule? Yeah, it, we're going to do, I think it's like the 26th or something like that. Uh, that's not a good idea. Why? Because we're not here. No, it's, we come back on the 22nd. No, we leave on the 22nd, we come back on the 29th. Okay, so, um, I don't know. Yeah, you're clueless. Look, look, the birds came. I saw they came, the birdies came. There's a cardinal outside. Yay. Okay. Um, what are we doing? Um, comment from Miles. This is from Vincent. Scott gave me the idea to start a travel journal and I love it. Oh, that's great. Oh, Katya's World says, you inspire me and when I get down, I recall quotes you say in vids, like, just remember to have fun, and it's just a pencil and some paper and some time, so thanks for reminding me. Oh, that. that's great. I'm happy to help. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, God. Our kid is funny. Um, what's the cheapest website to get zebra brush pens? Well, it depends on where you are. If you are in the States, go to jetpens.com. They really should pay me for how many people we send to them. Blick has them too, and so does Amazon. Does Amazon have them? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Um, I am about to get a brand new desk set up, and I'm so excited to start using it for my art. Oh, that that's great. Anime arts. That is I exciting. Love, yeah, when I got my new, my, my new desk, it, it was so cool. Um, let's see. How much snow are you getting? Right now we've got three or four inches and it's still snowing. Have you listened to They Might Be Giants? Um, I don't even know what that is. I, I think so. Uh, I, I'd, I'd have, someone would have to tell me a, a song. But, I mean, I know that, I know the name. Um, let's see. Do you sell the originals of these music alphabet pieces? I do. I do. Mm -hmm. They go up usually within an hour or so after I finish them. Yeah. Mystery says, I knew you were going to find Band-Aid washi tape before you said it. Come on, right? <laughs> you got to do it. Smooth paper and an ink eraser. I don't know what that means. Um, let's see. This is the first live I've been able to catch. Oh, well, welcome. How long have we been married? Uh, we just celebrated our 31st year. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thanatos says, Band-Aid washi tape is fun until you cut it out individually and put it on parchment paper and step away and come back to a cat covered in tiny Band-Aids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a cat, so I don't have to worry about that one. That is so funny, though. Oh, my God. That is hysterical. Mm, I have a writing journal. I do not do art or paintings. I don't have waterproof pens, so I have to ink after I paint, so I'm trying to get some better ones. The zebra brush pens are waterproof. So you can try those. What's your favorite Zelda game? Um, I've been liking Tears of the Kingdom, uh, and I think because mostly um, when I did Breath of the Wild, I rushed through it, and I didn't do any of the side quests. So for Tears of the Kingdom, I really just took my time and did <laughs> all of the side quests. 
Do you know a cheap gouache paint that is good for starters? I am trying to get into gouache because all your gouache art looks so cool. Thank you. Hemi gouache. There's a link uh, in my the, in the resources, under resources page. Yeah, mm -hmm. under art supplies I've tried. Blow dryer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sure she did get a concussion after you got a hit. You hit a tree. Yeah, I would assume. Um, will you share the reference picture again, honey? People yeah. People want to see it. I started crocheting yesterday. Yay! You know, it's funny. I um, I think I go through phases with the things I like to do. I mean, I'm sure we all do. Can you guys see it okay? Yeah, we can see it fine. Thanks. Um, I think um, I think I I go through phases. Right now, I'm seriously loving. Um, I'm reading a lot, and I'm I'm back to reading a lot. I was reading, and then I wasn't reading anyway, so it's not important. But I'm I'm reading a whole big bunch, and to pretty much to the detriment of anything else. So I'm reading and I'm journaling, but I'm not doing a whole lot else, like outside of that. Like I'm not knitting. I'm not. I have a paint by number. I'm not touching that. I'm not doing it. But I'm really, really loving the reading and the journaling. So kind of a mood thing, I think. Um, let's see. We have lots of snow outside. Yeah. I love crochet, but it was annoying to learn. Now it's annoying because my wrists are bad from it. Oh, I'm sorry. What will you draw after completing the letter Z? Everybody always wants the next project. Oh, um, well, I'm going to finish up the the uh, dragon painting, mm -hmm. and then I am going to um, get the posters, and I, I'm going to have to paint uh, Smash Mouth singing All Star for the bottom corner piece, <laughs> and then um, get those done, and then I'm going to take a break. And then I will probably uh, do the 70s next. And then maybe another larger piece. Yeah, that's a probably. Um, Robert, Dare Robertson says, Dawn, I have found that to become my wife crochets the toys of my book characters, but knitting, nope. One needle is her comfort zone. And that sounds really weird now that I type it. <laughs> You're so funny. Miles Wood um, says, I think Scott should start another journal like the hair journal. Yeah, um, I, I, I might do something like that. I might do um, a 60 days of studying the masters again. God, I would love to do that again. That would be great. Um, mm. Jay Robert Dean says, Scott, couldn't it be argued that journaling is sketching for writers and therefore a form of art since writing is an art form? You're it painting is. Painting with it words. Is. I, I was just trying to say that she um, would have to make an image to be able to put the band aid over the inking. Oh, that, that is, is basically what I was trying to say. But yes, mm, I, I could put a band aid over the words that I was writing. Oh, yeah, you can do that all day long. It won't mm -hmm. bother me at all. But I really want to put a band-aid on Weird Al's nose now. You know I do. It's going to happen. Um, you know, I don't think he would want a bird feeder right outside the window. I think it's cute now because the birds were coming by. But I think that would be too much noise for him. We have a bird feeder on the other side of the house, away from the hobbit hole. Um, it's actually really... Um, it's a really great place. It's by the trees and it gets, the birds can go up into the trees and then they can come down to the feeder. So, but I think right outside the hobbit hole might be a little too much noise for him. River, there's no process. It's just utter chaos around here. There's no process. If you've been here for any small length of time, you will notice no process. Yeah, especially if you're talking about my art. I am just fumbling through it every time. Thank you, Mr. Clock. Should I paint a red panda? Yeah. Hello. 
Um, they all want me to put a Band-Aid across um, Weird Al. It's going to happen at some point. At some point, you're going to find a um, picture on my community channel. It's going to be Weird Al with a Band-Aid across him. Something like the hair journal, but just magnificent beards. That would be funny. Um, let's see. You guys are so funny. Mm. Um, Bethany says, Smash Mouth, really? Smash Mouth can be skipped. <laughs> well, um, the consensus was is that they were the perfect meme, like what I did with uh, the Rick roll uh, for the 80s. Yeah. That was the consensus. Well, Second place was Weezer. Apparently, getting Weezered is a thing now. Now, but was it a thing back in the nineties? Neither was a Rickroll. There wasn't. A, that's that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like what's the modern consensus kind of thing. Like what's the. Anyways. <sighs> okay, finally starting to come together. Slowly. You got time. I love how Weird Al has three chins. Have you ever tried abstract painting? No, not intentionally. <laughs> not intentionally? <laughs> what does that look like? Not intentionally. <laughs> like, I didn't mean it to be abstract, but here you go. <laughs> You're funny. Gosh, I'm just... Um, oh, Kostika says Amazon has the zebra brush pens in the UK, but they are a little more expensive than in the US. Gotcha. So it's funny because you would think that you guys are closer to Japan, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Good question. Um, silica erasers are awesome for fixing line work. Be gentler the rougher the paper is. Hmm. I haven't heard of those. Scott, if you had to use pencils, would you prefer to use a 2H or a 2B pencil to sketch before the painting part? Oh, an H, and it would be a 6H, not a 2H. I'd like an 8B, like butter. Let's see. Um. What is your favorite color? Uh, Payne's gray. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's your daily routine? Happy Cloud would like to know. Um, well, if it's a live day like today, then um, I will do my live, go up and get breakfast. Well, first I gotta get up and I gotta find out what I'm painting, get mm -hmm. photo reference set up, do my live, go back, go, get, go upstairs, go get breakfast, come back down, edit the video, post the video, and then the rest of the day I can um, either play video games or I respond to all of the comments, um, or take I work calls. on my other, yeah, take calls or mm -hmm. I work on my other painting. Mm -hmm. Blow dryer. Hold on. Okay. comment from Miles. Lots of Apple phones now have a journal app and I've been meaning to set it up. Oh, that's cool. I prefer a little more analog myself for journaling. I like the scratching of the pen on the paper. But however you like to journal is good. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. I think it's really cool, as I think I've stated before, that there are so many different mediums that people can work with. And I think that's pretty neato. What should I paint for the first time with watercolor? Um, Donna would say a red panda. Mm -hmm. I would indeed. Yep, I would indeed. So I think today I've been using the small brush and mm -hmm. I don't normally use that. And yeah. I think that's what's making me feel like it's taking more time. Ah. Uh, um, where is What happens with the larger brush? 
I just was, I've been using the small brush for the dragon painting and so it just feels more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Have you used the app Unsplash? No, I've never heard of it. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, oh, Santa's here. Hey, Santa. How many people have commented about your cover photo of the live being Daniel Radcliffe? Uh, <laughs> no one. You guys are so funny. You're the yep. first. Everybody be good. Santa has arrived in the chat. Do a bird journal. I don't think you'd enjoy that. I don't mind painting birds. Yeah, you're not really a bird person, though. Hmm. You didn't even really like meeting Sai. You were a little nervous. Who, me? Mm-hmm. I was? Yep, you were. You're What's, thinking of what, somebody else, because... Wait, what? The, 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 the rhino hornbill, what was his name? Stanley. Stanley. You were not afraid of Stanley at all. Um... Yes. So far, chaos has been the word of 2024. Yeah. 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 Kinda. Kinda, kinda. All kinda. right. I'm going to jump into the hair now and. Have you seen the Sing movies? Um, I saw the first one. Mm -hmm. I, I never saw the rest of them. I liked the first one. Have you ever done any collages? Yeah, in college. America is closer to Japan, I believe. I guess if you yeah, if you go west. <laughs> Have you heard of the artist Drew Struzan? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, he's one of my biggest inspirations. Yeah, and a very nice person. Yeah. Um, have you heard of the new Rick Roll, where Rick Ashley made the song but sang all the lyrics? Um, as they have been misheard. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, I haven't heard that either. What would you do if you were not an artist? Maybe music? Let's see. I think you'd curl up in a corner. Let's see, let's see. Um, Zahar, inspiration for what? Um... Can you be a little more specific with the question? Okay, so let me do the hair, which is gonna be... Let's see... Lily asks how everyone is today. We're doing good, thank you, Lily. Um, Logical says, if you were planning to do a comic, would you recommend planning out the story first or doing some experimentation with the art and how the characters will look first? No. Um, the best thing I ever learned was to write my story first. Um, mm -hmm. I started the first chapter of the Dreamland Chronicles with kind of just an idea, and I made the art, and then I went back in and did the words and everything, and it was so much more difficult. So, yeah, if you can, write it out. Figure out who your characters are. Now, if you're just doing a, like a, a, a sample thing, that's one thing. But if you're going to write, writing is the most important part about a comic book. The art is, you know, the thing everybody sees. But if it's not a good story, you got nothing but good art. And you might as well just make a painting. Get ready with Mimi says i can't believe my first live was all the way back when you painted harry styles oh gosh that was a while ago um yes he is painting in gouache um what should i draw right now how about a red panda I'm going to try to make this hair very abstract. Uh, Nixia is 100% correct on that one. Um, Unsplash is somewhere with copyright free photos. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. interesting. It's a photography app. I get inspiration from it all the time. Smaller photographers. That's cool. There we go. For photo reference and stuff, babe. 
Um, let's see. Have you ever watched Grease? Oh, you're so funny. Oh, yeah, we watched. Come it on, we were back in the '80s. <laughs> Actually, it was the '70s when it came yeah, out. Wasn't it? it was, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, we are yeah. that we are that old, and yeah, we've seen it like a million times. I knew all of the lyrics to all of the songs. Mm -hmm. and... Oh yeah. Do you ever use chalk in your art? Um, no. Mm -mm. No. What do you prefer, Lord of the Rings movies or books? Oh, the movies, 100%. But I prefer the book for uh, The Hobbit. Yeah. Oh, Anne Marie's here. Anne Marie. Hi, Anne Marie. Um. Bodrar. Okay. You're, you guys are going to have to be more specific when you ask me the question to ask Scott what was your art inspiration? Inspiration for what? Like, are there artists that have inspired him? Are there, you know, your inspiration for this piece, your inspiration for the dragon? If you could be a little more specific, that would be helpful. Um, Santa says, I've interacted with Alfred a few times. Such an authentically kind individual. That's great. I love to hear that. Um, let's see. I'm crying. I can't believe you responded. You're so funny. If you type comments in the chat, of course we're going to respond, silly. We can't respond to everyone, so it's... Oh, you're so funny. I know, but people are funny. Um, what can I draw in the back of the wolf I'm going to paint? Um, was that Princess Mononoke or something like that? Or I don't know. Didn't she ride a wolf? I, you're asking the wrong person. Um, let's see. I love the colors in this one. The purple hair looks fantastic. Oh, thanks. Um, have you ever painted Bob Ross? Yes. And Where I did, did a you, video about it, too. Where did you learn art? I went to the Academy of Art in San Francisco, but honestly, I learned art by making art. Um, would you ever do a meet and greet someday? And would you ever come to a convention maybe in Michigan? Not oddly specific there. <laughs> um, I don't know about meet and greets, but um, I could definitely uh, see myself doing another convention. I used to do conventions um, when I was into comic books. Uh, oh, but God, uh, so many conventions. Yeah, but I haven't done any recently. Yeah, we have not. God, we haven't done any in a long time, huh? And yeah, if if someone invites me and, you know, it seems like a good convention, um, I, I definitely would consider it. Um, let's see. Um, I was talking about hobbies with my parents. Oh, this is Kermito. And my mother told me that making me watch Bob Ross as a kid was the best decision she could have made since uh, now I'm an artist. I loved Bob Ross as a kid. That's, oh, that's so great. Um, very cute. Have okay. you ever used acrylic paint? Yes, I didn't like them, but I did use them. Look at I did bring my magenta here. Aha. Uh -huh. Nope, that's Opera Rose. We're going to the supply drawer. Um, have you ever painted, painted Selena Gomez? Um, Predicate Gaming just joined and wants to know whom we are painting today. Uh, this is Weird Al Yankovic. Isn't it in the little tray underneath the table, babe? No. Sure. There's all of the things I have. This is gouache, gouache, gouache. Gosh. 
Okay, I'm writing magenta on the list. Uh, it's, yeah. Is it gouache? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let me go down the list. What made me start journaling? I There was an article that I read right around the time that um, the pandemic was starting that um, it was a professor at a major university who said, told his students to journal when big events are happening in the world and journal how you feel about it. Journal what you see from your perspective. I think this is my magenta, but it's called Bengal Rose. I guess we're going to find out, huh? No, I think that is... No, it is. Bengal Rose is up here. Okay. Yeah, I need magenta. I wrote it down already. And then what is opera pink? Oh, please, you're asking me. Anyway, so the professor said that, so I thought, you know what? I And I've always wanted to do a regular journaling practice. So... I um, picked up a journal and I haven't looked back since. These look pretty much identical, don't they? This one's a little bit more saturated. This one's a little darker. They don't look the same on the screen, though. Really? Yeah, they look different. There looks to be a little more red to that one that you're touching right now. Yeah. Um... Simron says, I love your work. This is so calming. What advice would you have for a beginner who is a bit too harsh on their mistakes? Oh, um, get through your mistakes. Your mistakes is how you learn. It's like working out. You have to push yourself to the point of failure with your muscles. And it's the same thing with art. You've got to fail and fail and fail for your brain mm -hmm. to kind of uh, build those muscles. And you learn how to... Just be kind to yourself. You've got to do this stuff. You've got to get through it. You've got to learn that stuff. Um, and the only way to do it is by making art. So there's there's no shortcuts to it. What is contrast exactly, and how do you get that in your <clears throat> in your art? Contrast is is um, the difference of lights to darks. So um, high contrast is. This white against this black, that's high contrast. Medium contrast would maybe be this light to this blue. You see? So yeah. these are a little, they're closer in color mm -hmm. than these are. So that is high contrast. Here, I'll just do this. High contrast, mm -hmm. low contrast. Or, you know, so your values mm -hmm. okay. are, are, are gonna be based on that. This is more dramatic. This is more subtle. Ah, uh, dramatic, like me. Yes. Okay. Nothing is dramatic like you. As it should be. I should be the only thing that's dramatic in this life. Uh, Hermione Granger likes to binge watch your videos. Oh, thank you. Um, how do you keep the paper flat with the paints on it? I thought you needed to tape down watercolor paintings or something. No, this is a... Um, uh, a... Block. block, which mm -hmm. is glued on all sides except for this one little part. And then you just stick a, a palette knife underneath and you lift it up. And that keeps it relatively flat. All right, I'm going to add a little bit. What time is it? No, oh, I got time. I'm going to add a little bit of colored pencils. Let me mm -hmm. blow dry real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, he's painted Taylor Swift so many times. Um, Abby, we use um, Blick Art, and we go to our local Plaza Art store. That's where we go. All right. First, I'm going to start off with Pencil Shepherder. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start off with my Black Cherry, and I'm going to... I'm going to get... What hobbies do you like other than art and your cougar? Uh, video games. Do you enjoy bagels? Oh, yeah. I love bagels. Mm. The um, there's a link to the art palette that he uses. It's called the San Francisco palette. It's in the resources page. Uh, Red pandas 
are exotic animals and they should not be kept as pets. So I will not be having a red panda as a pet. Fun to think about, but in reality, not so good of an idea. Ooh, Santa says, I'm so excited. Mrs. Claus is making German gingerbread honey cookies today. Yum. Mm. That sounds delicious. You had me at honey cookies. So there you go. You had me at cookies, but I mean, you know. Um... I love your art, Scott. We'll get Ohuhu markers and other stuff. <laughs> oh. You're so funny. Thank you. Mm, it's still storming. The snow is still coming down for us. Yeah, I wouldn't call it storming, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just snowing. I once started journaling in February of 2020, and it's so funny to look back on it now and see the writing of saying, I hope the pandemic ends soon. Yeah. Narrator voice. It didn't. Yeah. No kidding. What is your favorite watercolor painting? My favorite watercolor painting that I've ever done? Um, yeah, maybe the trans one. I just really like that one. Um, you're so funny. He never cleans anything. Least of all his palette. Never. <laughs> J. Robert Dean says, we need Uber Eats, but for art supplies. <laughs> oh, that would be dangerous. That would be dangerous. Dangerous. Have you ever painted Zelda from The Legend of Zelda? I saw you painted Link. I, I did, but I um, I painted someone as a I painted someone's cosplay of Zelda in kind of more of an Art Nouveau kind of style. But yeah, it was fun. Mm, let's see. Do you ever doodle? If so, what is your favorite doodle to do? Uh, whatever's in front of me. I, I have a sketch wallet and I will uh, just draw whatever's in front of me. This has got to be a little see. darker. Let me add a little bit more. Um, um, this. Have you ever painted Zendaya? Oh, yeah, I did mm, a video mm, on it. Mm, mm, mm. The trans hair poster is hanging above my bed. It's stunning. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Blow dryer. Oh, hold on. Yeah, J. Robert News was like. J. Robert Deans was like, I met Scott in Baltimore, like 2012. Yeah, that was... That was so long 12 ago. 12 years ago. Isn't that crazy? Gosh. Crazy. That was definitely too dark. I thought there was a good art supply store in D.C., I know there are great stationery stores in Washington, D.C. Well, I think I can just consider this done. I mean, it's it's really loose. It's... Are you okay with it? Yeah. I, I think I'm just... I'm kind of happy with it. Oh, gosh. Of course... Makeup and nail painting is an art form. Have you seen some of the nail art out there? Holy moly. And have you seen the makeup artists? They're unbelievable. Crazy. Is there a painting you've done that was so bad it still haunts you? No, 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 no. I, I, I forget them pretty immediately. Yeah. If you would like to see snow outside the hobbit hole, you can just rewind the um, live. Because Scott showed the camera outside the hobbit hole. Yeah. And if he does a painting that's that bad, usually it ends up in the trash can. Yeah. I just... Because I do so much bad art. I, I, I really do. And I mm -hmm. just um, have just 
gotten used to going, nope, this didn't work. Now there's stuff that frustrates me, like I'm currently frustrated with the um, me with the with the uh, the dragon and centaur piece because it's just nothing is going easily. Uh, I'm I'm kind of making it work and I'm pulling it together as as best as I can, but I'm just frustrated because it's just not going easily. Um, all right. I thought you said you were done, but you're noodling now. Yeah, just... Okay. You're so funny. Where do you get the ideas for your drawings? And we will let that be the last question today. Um, it depends on the drawing. Like, uh, this particular one was because I was doing the, uh, the 90s uh, alphabet. And, um... You know, but the thing like the the centaur and the dragon uh, was done during the live. We were just doodling, and uh, and the same thing with the gothic vampire was mm -hmm. from uh, just doodling. But I, I I think all of my paintings come from a photograph that I see that inspires me. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. I think we're okay. Oh, Mia says, thank you, Donna. I do nail art, and it's nice to hear someone say that it is art. I don't know a person who could not say that that was art. I mean, it, it, there are just, I've seen people do the most beautiful designs. I mean, it's just, yeah. And you know what? It doesn't matter what anybody else says. It really doesn't. If you think it's art, then it's art. But I'm telling you it's art. So there you go. All right, everybody, I'm going to let him noodle and I'm going to go upstairs and have a piece of crumb cake with my kid and maybe, maybe just have another cup of tea because, you know, why not? So I hope you guys all have a marvelous Monday. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for being here with us. Do something good for yourself today and something good for somebody else in honor of Martin Luther King. So we will um, see you guys on... Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's Monday, Wednesday. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, and that will be Z, the letter Z. The letter Z, the last yeah. day, which... Wednesday's the last day. Please tell day. me it's not going to be ZZ Top again. <laughs> oh. Alright, everybody. Have a great one. We'll talk to you guys on Wednesday. Bye.